Hi everybody, it is that time of year again when a new Daisy update is just around the corner and may well be happening right now, depending on when you watch this video. So I'm recording this video on the 22nd of August 2023. We're currently on Daisy 1.21, Daisy 1.22 is uh, is going to be coming soon so in this video i want to show you how do you know if you've got the latest um version of daisy on your server and how do you update your mission files because that doesn't happen automatically and specifically we're going to be looking at console first so we're going to be looking at an nitrado server and then i'm going to go into a little bit about pc as well because it's a little bit different so with an nitrado server you go into your web interface and when you look at it, what you're interested in is here, the version number. And what will happen on update day, whenever that is, you'll see Daisy uh, will, will, will say, OK, yeah, console servers are going down or PC servers are going down and we're going to be updating them. And you may well get a message off Nitrado as well saying, look, we're updating the servers now. And then when it says they're updated, or you just come and have a look like an hour later, you'll be looking to see that this version number has changed to 1.22 something. And this is the same for PC and console. But all that means is the DAISY server.exe program, so the program that runs the server has been updated, but the mission file, so that's all your types, the XML, all those files that control the loot that spawns on your server, including crucially, the new loot, like bags in this particular case, they haven't been updated yet. So what you need to do on console is you go to your settings general and you scroll down and you're looking for reset mission XML to default. Now, when we do this, what's going to, what's going to happen is Nitrido, we're going to pull the latest um, DAISY uh, mission XMLs, 122 ones in this case, 122 files in this case, and replace your existing ones. So if you've got any edited files, you should have already downloaded them and kept them safe and re-edited them, whatever you're going to do to them so that this won't get rid of them. But if you're ready, you just click that and you click Save Changes and then you restart your server. Once the server is restarted, unclick it and click save changes then what you want to do is then you want to go into your file browser and you'd want to go into say daisy missions and go into say daisy offline generous plus and then go into db and you'd want to see that the types that xml has been updated to something round about the, the release date um, also you could go into types that xml and once it's loaded, remember this is quite a big file, so it can take a while to load. Click inside the text box, do a control F, and search for something like um, duffel. So I think one of the new bags is called a duffel bag. Or just go through the bags, and you can see there aren't any there. So if that had come up as one or a few, I would know that the latest files are on my server and I'm good to go. The other way that you could do it, of course, as well, is, is if you did a fresh install. If you did a reinstall as well, that would then give you the latest files. Unfortunately, that will obviously get rid of everybody's progresses as well on the server, so they won't be too uh, pleased about that. So that's that's Xbox and PlayStation console servers. What about PC? Let's find a PC server. So if we go into my PC server here, and we'll have a look inside. If we go to settings general, you'll see that there is no option to reset uh, XMLs to default, which um, is a bit of a pain, but hey. Um, so it is a little bit more complicated. So what you tend to do on PC, or what, what I tend to do on PC, is that after the update has gone live, so when I go to my dashboard and I see that um, we've got DAISY version one point. Uh, 22 is there, so it'll say V1.22 there. I'll go and have a look at Bohemian Interactive Daisy Central Economy uh, GitHub repository and see if this has been updated to the latest files. Generally, this lags behind a couple of days for an update. So at the moment, as you can see by the dates, these are Daisy 1.21 files. But when uh, these say, you know, one day ago, um, we'll know that these have been updated to 1.22 and the one point two one files will be down here in releases so once they've been updated i click on code i click on download zip i download the whole thing and then i just go through and i tend to use ftp 
but you can go through and you can um, let's go back to here you can uh, I'm in the wrong one I PC sorry we go to file browser on PC go into Daisy standalone um, go into missions go into Chernus Plus in this particular case I'll have extracted those files on my PC and I'll just upload them over the top of the existing ones if I want to get, and then, you know, it's quite a pain because you've got to go through, you know, all your CFGs and then you've got to go into your ENVs with all your territories and your DBs, but it doesn't take that long, but, you know, it's doable. Um, just making sure, of course, that it, with things like your CFG gameplay.json, that if it's got any edits to do with custom spawn points and things like that, custom, sorry, custom uh, structure spawns that you've, you've saved them and you copy them across. If you want to get ahead of the game, though, what you do is if you... Uh, go to your daisy library uh, sorry your steam library and then make sure that you've got tools and software ticked i think it's a tool you'll see your own daisy experimental server and you install that and then on your pc in fact if you go uh, right click uh, properties installed files browse or if you go right click manage browse local files that will take you where the files are and you will find, if you go to the right place, uh, da, 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 here we go, you'll have Daisy Server Experimental installed on your computer. And if you go to Daisy Server Experimental and go into the MP missions, you will then have the latest mission files for Chernus and Enoch, which is Livonia, and then you can upload these. Again, just being careful like with the init.c if you've done any changes, or see if you gameplay if you've got any changes. And remember, if you've done any edits to mission files that are live on your server, they will be overwritten when you upload all of these and the contents of your ENV and your DB and uh, custom if you've got stuff in your custom, but that tends to be custom structures. Um, and you'll probably do it by FTP, but you can do it manually via the web browser as well. So there we go, my friends. That is how you know if you've got the latest 1.22 files or whatever update we're working on, and it's how you update your mission files too. Hopefully this will get you um, forewarned and forearmed for the update so you, everything will go smoothly on update today. Um, and if it does, hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.